When I was a kid, I dreamed of being a race car driver. Even though life has taken me on a surreal and unexpected journey, two things have remained constant. My mates and my beast. My car has been like a campfire to me and my friends. I've never met anyone that's had a car for so long that was such a heap of shit. Yeah. It's always been about friendship, and that, that's how you'd, you'd sum that car up. You can develop a relationship with a the car. There's not a lot of room for bonding with objects and even people sometimes. I think that's tragic. Three, two, one. That's probably the most dangerous form of motorsport there is. And then a five left. It's slippery apparently. I feel like I'm breaking in a horse. I feel like every day both horses are learning, me and the car. Okay, 10 left flying, finish, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. I think if we just do exactly what we did yesterday and don't try and be heroes, we'll finish somewhere that's Halfway decent. So 600 horsepower and leaf springs. Are you mad? I didn't think I was. If you put all the blood, sweat, and tears in this car, you wouldn't have hit the tree. That car is an important part of your history. It's an important part of your identity. You can't bail on that. It's about keeping the bond. You know, and uh, feeling feeling that youth. <laughs>